Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. You probably noticed we have a new intro, Real Truth Daily. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and you're not going to get truth from any other place besides the Word of God. And all I am, nothing more and nothing less than a spokesman for the Word of God. And through these fallible, error-prone lips, I hope to inculcate you with the truths of Scripture every day. Now, I want to tell you, I, I asked kids in confirmation years ago, what is the theme of the Old and New Testament? And I'll never forget this one answer, a very simple answer. This kid said, uh, God. <laughs> yes! Ding, 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 ding! <laughs> But it goes a little bit deeper than that, right? In the Old Testament, God said prophets, and the prophets had a message to the people. The people rebelled against God, the prophets told them to repent, and then God restored them into fellowship with himself. The people uh, rebelled against God, the prophets told them to repent, and God restored them into fellowship with himself. Rebellion, repentance, restoration. Rebellion, repentance, restoration. This was one of the most common themes of the Old Testament, but that was not the primary theme of the Old Testament. And you might be saying, well, Pastor Dave, what was the primary theme of the Old Testament? Here it is. Don't miss it. The Messiah is coming. Jesus said this in Matthew chapter 11, verse 13, for all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. In other words, you got this long string of prophets, Moses and Elijah and Jeremiah and the minor prophets, Hosea, uh, Daniel, Amos, et cetera, et cetera. All these guys basically were saying one thing, prepare your hearts, the Messiah is coming. Now, the last in that long train of prophets culminated with John the Baptist. He was the last prophet of the old covenant that basically prepared God's people by saying the Messiah is coming. And he had really a twofold proclamation. Not only is the Messiah is coming, but boop, there he is. The Messiah is here. That leads us into the theme of the New Testament. If I were to ask you, what's the theme of the New Testament? You know what you could say? The Messiah is here. The Messiah has come. Jesus of Nazareth is the Messiah. So the theme of the Old Testament is the Messiah is coming. The theme of the New Testament is the Messiah is here. Now, very interestingly, from Adam and Eve until Abraham was about 2,000 years. From Abraham to Jesus was about 2,000 years. From Jesus until now, about 2,000 years. Interestingly, could the second coming of Jesus be very, very close to reality? Could it be here in our lifetime? When you look at the prophecies in the book of Daniel, in Matthew chapter 24, in Luke chapter 21, in the book of Revelation, indeed, it seems like the stage is set and the time is being fulfilled for the Messiah to come. So the third part of the Old Testament, New Testament, and then the Kingdom, kingdom to come is the Messiah is back. So Old Testament, the Messiah is coming. New Testament, the Messiah is here. Into the eternity, the Messiah is back. And when he comes back, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. It's then that we will lift up our eyes when the trumpet sounds and Christ returns and the dead are raised. We'll lift up our eyes and we will rejoice for our salvation, the source of our salvation, the resurrection of our bodies, the taking us into eternity, both body and soul, to live in the presence of God forever will be our reality. So let's summarize where we've been today. The theme of the Old Testament, the Messiah is coming. The theme of the New Testament, the Messiah is here. The theme of our future glory, the Messiah will be back. And there he is. So that is today's Daily Truth. I hope that helped to delineate and teach a little bit about the overarching themes of the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, and the time when Jesus comes back. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. And we'll see you tomorrow for Daily Truths. Thanks for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If you feel led, would you consider giving to this ministry? Your tax-deductible donation helps us continue sharing the gospel with as many people as possible. 
simply click the link in the description below. We pray you were blessed by today's message. So come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.